don't tell me that it takes some maintenance guy to put fluid in a bucket for us drivers to have clean windows. What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. You wanted to be in the game, right? Now you're in the game. Truck driver upset because of the lack of window washing fluid in the fuel island. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. Uh, Sydney, Nebraska. You're going to just start calling out this fucking truck stop. So I'm fucking sick of it. At this dipshit over here that wants to literally wash his truck with the washer fluid instead of just, you know, doing his windows. Hey, how are you? Not too bad. I'm doing all right. Uh, who's running the show around here? Who's the manager? Well, <laughs> well, there's two of us. I was going to say, there's two right, cool. groups. Cool. Um, so every time I come here lately, buckets all empty, dirty water. I can't even get my windows cleaned like that. I just tried with my own cleaner, but I can't when there's okay, that We much have dirty no water. maintenance guy on night shift. So not even a manager can go out and put washer fluid in these buckets? For real? Is that what I get to tell corporate that they're paying y'all to not even take care of those truckers? I'm just trying to do my job. I can't right. do my job if there's bugs all over my windshield and you guys want to give me an excuse of why none of you that work here can go and fill that maintenance. It can only be the one like you're the manager. I'm making the top dollar. You can't jump in and help these guys out? For real? Well then, please don't tell me that it takes some maintenance guy to put fluid in a bucket for us drivers to have clean windows. Because it ain't right. And this isn't the first time. This keeps happening over and over, gloves nationwide. Y'all used to be like the top. And I don't know, because of COVID, nobody wants to do their job anymore, but it's getting old. And every time I come to a manager, it's, it's always an excuse of why you guys can't simply put some fluid in place. We will get somebody out there to get them filled. Cool, thanks. Now, doing my one two on TikTok as usual, I come across this uh, picture, this video right here of a female trucker going in and complaining about the lack of windshield wiper fluid in the uh, buckets at the uh, at what looks like a loves. So she goes in and you know kind of complains about the lack thereof and the people that's on duty that night saying well hey you know we don't have a maintenance guy overnight now she does kind of make a valid point about you know well i mean it doesn't take a maintenance guy to go and fill up those buckets with window washing fluid you know maybe you know maybe one of the guy or maybe the manager herself you know they said there was two of them so one of them could go out there and and fill the buckets but see here's the thing that i kind of got to me it tugged me it kind of it kind of rubbed me a little bit and i'm like okay i understand the driver's frustration because we come across that all the time you know lack of windshield washer fluid in the bucket the 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 um squeegees that's that's being used always being used for washing the trucks instead of washing the windshields and stuff like that you know we come across plenty of fuel stations that does that pilots is like notorious for that like for real for real I never experienced that at a loves too much, but at a pilot, never fails. Never fails. The squeegee is messed up. There's no, uh, there's no clean, I'm talking clean uh, windshield washer fluid in the buckets on the fuel island. It's never that at a pilot. Now, maybe some Flying J's, but not all of them either. Same thing with the Flying J's. But 
she goes in and kind of complains and then she's like well does this is this what i have to tell corporate about the lack there i mean lack thereof that you guys don't have maintenance out there you know maybe you know maybe maintenance probably might be the only people that can do that i'm just saying you know but for me for her to say that i i kind of said to myself because you know unpopular opinion if you was going to complain instead of saying who you're going to complain to why not just do it that's all that's all i'm saying drivers don't get at me i'm i'm just saying why not just complain to corporate why not just get on your phone pull up the corporate website find on the website where customer complaints is being held at send the email in along with a picture of of your frustration and send it on in there's no reason for you to run in and and tell the employees i'm gonna i'm gonna complain to corporate or is this what this is what you want me to tell corporate tell corporate if you're gonna tell them i would that's what i'm saying that's what i would do i you know i go in hey you know something that's not right to you and you feel that corporate needs to be aware of call corporate all all places have a website all businesses have a website all businesses have an email all businesses have info or customer or whatever at email.com all businesses have that you know so instead of just going in there with your frustration you know and and saying who you going to tell and this that and the third you know and putting up a mini argument just put it on corporate that's all now the end result that i believe that this driver did get someone would come out there and fill up the buckets usually they usually they do that so they don't have to hear your mouth anymore trust me you know they probably wouldn't have been in a hurry to do it but yes while you're in there you know pitching the fit you know they didn't want to continue the back and forth so instead they just decided to come out there and fill the buckets drivers let me know i mean what do you guys think yeah i mean am i wrong am i right is she wrong i you know i'm not going to say that she's wrong or right in that matter but i do feel her for going in there and short sharing her frustrations about the lack of when she, clean i'm talking clean now clean windshield washer fluids to wash the windshields of your truck here's something you come across something like that again you know the windshield washer fluids they they do keep them outside or they do at least keep you know a few by the door <laughs> me I will probably grab one of them bad boys, fill up the buckets, and take it in there and let them know, hey, here you go, man. I just did your job for you. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night?